and all peaches, welcome back to another video and actually to another official Sims build that I've built with my chaos that is actually going into a Sims game that everyone will buy. So, you know, no pressure or anything. So you guys have already seen the overstuffed starter home that I was making for the village part of the new Sims 4 pack. I still don't know what it's called, so I'm calling it get English, get Yorkshire puddings, get sausages and mush, bangers and mush, get a pint of stout, a Sunday roast, some fish and chips on a Friday. That is what we're calling this pack. It's a long name, I know, but it'll catch on, don't worry. So my first pack was in the village, a typical English village, very cute vibes. There's two more destinations in this pack. There is the foresty one, which is kind of like where I live in real life in England. And there is also the English countryside. And the English countryside, quaint, beautiful, the location of many a beautiful movie and also the location of my next build so this one i am excited about as you know with the first one i literally just said what does nobody else want i'm probably the worst builder here so i'll take it just to make sure that all of the cool builds are actually built cool and not with claire chaos so that was my first build the overstuffed starter home this build though they were like is there any others that you actually want and i was like i, I do kind of want this one this one sounds kind of cool so let me give you a bit of the backstory on this build right here this plot right here and it's actually in-game resident that comes with the pack. So this is known as the single lady household and it has a story behind it. After living in the big city and having her heart broken, Celia decided to ditch everything she knew for a small garden plot and some chickens. She is still looking for someone to share her life with but is happy to only form long-term attachments with the critters that visit for now. Yes, this pack has critters, wild animals that come and visit you and is all very adorable. So this is in the countryside neighborhood. It's a 30 by 20 size lot. It's suggested to have one bed and one bath and the household will be one adult. So size wise it's actually very similar to my other house but obviously I want to make this one a little bit different and whereas my other one I was going for very old school vibes. The idea that either somebody who didn't really care about mod cons had moved to LA, Kate Winslet in the holiday, yes, or maybe an older couple had lived there and moved out. Whereas with this house I'm building this for a lady that's moved out the city so wants all of the beauty of the countryside life but also all the convenience of modern living and some little animals on there as well so i'm really really excited to give this a go please 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 let me know your thoughts on this build in the comments below please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up and if you are new to this channel if you're just finding me because you're wondering who built that chaotic build hi i'm claire i am chaotic please subscribe if you enjoy this video also i usually have pink hair um i wear wigs it's a whole thing check back on my channel you can find out why so with the other house i went for a thatched look with this house i'm not gonna go for a thatched look i'm actually gonna go for like countryside but with a bit of a modern twist tiled kind of vibe let's see as we go along so this house i feel like i have a bit more budget i have a bit more money and i also feel like someone that comes from the city one of the big reasons that you escape the country in the UK is space. So despite the fact that this plot isn't huge, I would like the house to feel like it has a lot of space. I imagine if you're living in London or another city and you've moved out to the countryside, you're probably as a minimum hoping for rooms that are a little bit bigger to what you've left behind in the city. So I'm kind of bearing that in mind. And what do countryside homes in the UK look like? They're pretty varied. Something like this is obviously pretty huge, probably not right for what we're looking at, but very pretty. This one is a much more modern build. It uh, has a bit of a barn feel and also a pool. This one is very cute, a little bit of an old school house with tiling on the side. This one is a little thatch number with also a non-thatched roof. This is personally my favorite look of houses, which is Georgian vibes. I actually built a whole Georgian house. You can find that on my channel. This has beautiful, beautiful wisteria all along the side of the wall. That is absolutely stunning. This is a little bit grand. This is more manor house we're kind of getting into here. I could do like a barn conversion. So these kind of houses are also also really popular in the UK. It tends to be an old school barn, but with a very modern twist, usually a lot of glass, but still with all of the original beams and stuff. So they can be really, really cool. This one kind of looks like it may have been on Grand Designs. Like, I recognize you. I can imagine Kevin McLeod walking condescendingly down that hallway and telling them how they did everything wrong. So I do really like the idea of a barn conversion. Okay, so barn will be one main part, which we will section. And then what I like as well is often there is like another 
side bit that tends to have like a glass roof on top. I'm not saying all barn conversions look like this, but I'm just like imagining the, you know, good old Grand Designs vibe. And I actually recently learned how to do skylights. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, they're not gonna let me do this, are they? They are just not gonna let me do this. I could just feel it. I can feel it in the water. They're not gonna let me do this but it would be really cool. Okay, so because I thought they probably wouldn't let me do that, I was like, well, can I do like this and have this bit open? Turns out I can't do that either because I can't knock through that. I can't delete that, which obviously sucks because I can't get rid of that. So my cool barn conversion dreams are dying by the second. I was also trying to do this kind of roof on the front. I can't really work out how to do that either. But this I am taking as inspiration because that's beautiful. And one of the reasons I do want to go quite like barn conversion vibes with this is there's a lot of really cute traditional homes in the UK, but there's also a lot of really cool modern homes in the UK as well. And I don't want to like hem the whole of the UK into the same like everywhere in the UK is cute only because that's not the case at all. However, I'm kind of doubting my ability to be able to pull this off, mainly because you can't use roofs the way that I want to use roofs. In that I'm always going to have these, like, if I want to do a cool barn conversion like this, I'm always going to have these gaps down the side. At least I don't think I can do what I want to do here. Yeah, it's going to, like, go through the roof. So I need to rethink. Oh, God, I'm just hating everything. Everything that I make, I hate. Uh, I feel like maybe I'm overcomplicating this. So I'm going to do something which I will definitely later come to regret, which is I'm going to reverse engineer it and build the inside first and the outside second, because that is not how I usually work and will probably make this very hard. But you guys who are going further with like the floating staircase, the bedroom being up here, this being kind of like the kitchen, one side, living room, the other, super open plan, because that's like very barn vibes. And I was thinking like a study and maybe a cloakroom and downstairs bathroom here. Now I just need to make it not look like a big ugly block. The problem is barns build into the eaves. I don't think you can do that on Sims. And it's gonna end up in my house looking really like long, which I hate. So I'm trying to work out a way around it. I'm thinking of having a flat roof on top of there. This is like genuinely the most thought I think I've ever... No, I, I've struggled with roofs so many times. I've put a lot of thought into roofs many times. Usually it's a disaster. I hope this won't be. So this is now kind of where I'm at. It's closer to where I want to be. I ended up making like, let me show you. So this is this version version and then there is also this version but I, I feel like that's too big I think a bit smaller is the right way to go it still feels tall and grand inside and looks really cool I generally feel like people aren't gonna like this I feel like people are gonna be like no England's like all like loads of old cute houses and like yeah it is but it's not like just that I'm trying to show like the cool side you know we English we can be cool wow not when you say it like that Claire I tried to do like sliding doors by putting two doors next to each other kind of sliding right like I need to grow stuff on this house or else it's gonna look really ugly that's the thing i like i have to be able to grow things on it or else it's just like like it's a lot so i'm really hoping that the ability to grow stuff is gonna be coming soon because i need to be able to add a bit of wisteria like it needs it okay it just really needs it good thing is using exposed brick means I'm actually using less like interior wallpapers, which I'm not allowed to do. So that works out pretty good. And I feel like it's a big enough space to kind of, I don't know, go pretty dark on the floor. And I wish I could add walls to the side of here. I don't know if there's a way to do this. I had this issue last time. I really wish there was. And then I kind of had this idea, the like original beams of the house that I thought would be kind of cool. Like the, in sorry, the original barn. Yeah, like the original barn, but it's gonna mess with my stairs. Can I put the stairs on after? Oh, I totally can. Oh wait, I could just do that. Oh my gosh, yes. The original beams of the barn. Oh. This would be such a great feature. Okay, when you're looking for a house, they'd be like, and these are the original beams of the house. And people would be like, wow. English people love original beams. They love beams. We even add fake beams to houses. This is intense, but hopefully cool. Oh wait, will you see it though when you're trying to play and there's just like all these beams there? Yeah, that would actually be quite annoying. Maybe not in the bedroom, but maybe it's okay there. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. And then if the Sims teams are like, oh my gosh, I've never hated anything more in my life, then, you know, we move on. But at least you can see that I had the idea 
and I tried. Okay, so I'm gonna do kitchen on this side because it's way easier when you've got a back wall to make a kitchen. Uh, this bit has a wall. And like I said, with this one, the idea isn't super cute, cutesy, old school. It's much more modern. Okay, so kitchen seating area. I cracked again and used move objects. I'm probably gonna get so tall for this, but like I wouldn't have been able to build those stairs without the move object sheet. It was just like, I think I might half these to make it more manageable. It just doesn't work. Like everything just flies around like crazy. Yeah, that looks a little bit easier on the eye. Okay, onto the living room area, which is gonna look out of the garden, which is where the animals are gonna be kept. You can have modern and still have animals, you know? You can do both. Okay, what color is kind of funky, but also doesn't make my eyes cry. Maybe orange? Maybe orange, she says, like she's not just said something horrible. Oh, and I just realized I didn't use the sofa in the other park, uh, in my other house. So I can use it here and it actually is vibey in this room. Okay. I kind of like that color, that bluey color. Can I like update you to be a bit bluey? Mm, you're not going to be the same shade. So you will stay the color you are. No, I'd rather have completely different colors than two colors that are almost the same shade, but not quite. And I also updated that just because, I mean, that was, I've been doing move objects every now and again, but that was literally just taking the mick, to be honest. And I'm realizing I'm not using the stuff from the pack enough. So I'm just doing a few little switcheroos. Actually, that looks better anyway. Although the Peacemaker one's beautiful too. Just to make sure I'm using stuff from the kit or else like, why are we even here? Why do we exist? Okay, this room's gonna be a study. She's like a professional moving out from the city. So maybe she's got a job she can do at home in this room. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I've also given her a litty PC because uh, I don't know, in my head, she's maybe like an architect. Maybe she even designed this barn conversion. Although that's definitely bigging myself up a little bit too much, I would say. And I don't know what career she's been given, but I've kind of taken the whole thing. Maybe she's an architect, maybe she's into art and given her like an art space because I thought that would be kind of cool. Just realized I put a glass door on a bathroom. So let's just um, rewind real quick there. And I've got a bathroom downstairs. I don't, it's gonna be a very big bedroom. Ooh, a big bedroom with no light. Okay, rethink. I could do something like that. It adds a bit more shape than his big old box. Oh man, I'm so scared of people just absolutely tearing me apart online. You guys don't even understand. I am terrified. It's gonna happen because my building, you know, it's an acquired taste. Most of the time, even you guys don't like it. So I'm kind of fighting an uphill battle here. I want to just stick the bed there. But then I remember, never have a bed facing a door. It's illegal in Feng Shui. So I tried so many color variations in here. I know it's meant to be a single woman's house, but just cause it's like a woman's house doesn't mean that the room needs to be pink. I am a woman and I've made this not pink. So, you know, that's fine, right? That's fine. Yeah, I really struggle with color. I think this is okay. Like I tried to make it look like they wallpapered and plastered a lot of it, but they've kept some of the original siding just behind the bed. I don't know if I like actually kind of hate it, but yeah, I feel like I really kind of hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that looks cool, but why would there be brick there? I don't know. I got no answer for you on that one. I mean, it looks kind of cool though, right? I don't know. And then I've got this little boot room kind of situation going on. I figured that people could make this like whatever they want it when they move in. Maybe a laundry room, I don't know. But right now it's kind of a boot room. Boot rooms all the rage in the UK. People love a good boot room. And I think I'm gonna leave it there for now because I really want a bit of like guidance on the animal pen bit. Oh my gosh, imagine if they just turn around and they're like, we hate it. We hate it so much. Please delete this from our eyes right now. It's the first time I've ever built a barn conversion. I feel like it looks like a UK barn conversion. Like this is generally how they look. So like that point of view is right. And then I want animals and stuff out here and like a little sitting area. Okay, it's as far as I've got for now. I'm just gonna like save what I have for now. I'm gonna try and get a lot of help from the Sims team. See what other stuff is coming because a bunch of stuff isn't in the game yet. And I will rejoin you after the first round of feedback. There's three. First round of feedback. So I'm back after my check-in with EA on all things barn. And this one, I actually think they were really down for the barn conversion. One thing they weren't down for was how modern the barn looked. So one big thing you can tell I've done already is definitely aged up our barn considerably. I think they wanted something that fitted a lot better with the countryside, like the countryside vibes. And so I relented and I have made things far more traditional, traditional vibes for this house. The other thing they wanted to do was inside, 
They didn't like the staircase being dual, and I kind of agree. It makes a lot of sense. There's not really that much point having the staircase. It makes it feel very much like a uh, commercial property, they said. Honestly, I'm not going to argue with them. I really do agree with all of their feedback. I've modernized the outside. Uh, uh, sorry, I've, I've done the opposite, actually. I've aged up the outside considerably, and I am more than happy. I wonder if I should put the inside of stone now to match the outside. Because the whole reason that looked like that was because of the outside. So maybe the inside needs this as well. We might have to do that too, which may maybe change it to this smaller, but the same color. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I agree with that. I think it makes a lot of sense. It also gives me a little bit more room to play with. One thing they did suggest was going like really old school in here. And the pictures they showed, I think looked a little bit too much like what I would call like Texan barn kind of vibes or like mid west. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm going with this, but like south of America kind of interior barn vibes, very a certain color wood everywhere, like on the floor walls and all the stairs. And I had to push back a little bit on that because barns, like those kind of houses, I feel like are purpose built for being a house. This isn't, this is a really old barn that has been modernized very recently. And that is the way most barn conversions look in the UK. They are really old buildings, like super old buildings that were never originally built for like people to be in. So as a result, they need a lot of modernization inside. So I pushed it back against that quite a lot. I was like, look, I think what you're showing me looks for me. I have to touch and move all of these, by the way. That was one piece of feedback. If I touch it and it doesn't move, it doesn't sit into a place, then it can't go in the house. So I have to do this with everything. That for me isn't an English barn. That's an American barn. And I want to build an English barn conversion. So that is exactly what I'm going to try and do. So I'm glad I, I pushed back on that. I think my feedback made sense. I think they were also really like, that. that that's fine. They agreed with that. So yeah, we're going to retackle the inside of this. I'm now going to do a little bit of the outside. And I'm gonna uh, still keep this with modern barn conversion vibes. But yeah, I'm gonna make it less modern, but I'm gonna not make it ultra modern because it's still meant to be an old barn conversion. There's just three different color woods going on out here now and my brain literally can't. Problem is this pack came with no new high windows because all the high windows are like modern. And I guess the idea is that English windows are like smaller and pokier, but it means that it's kind of hard to match this. Because if I go for these shutters, it's a different shade of green again. This just feels like so much less light. The other thing I thought almost immediately after finishing this build, and actually something that I spoke to Ali about as well, I really hate the fact that you, the upstairs bathroom doesn't have a bathroom. Like, it makes no sense. So I will be adding a bathroom upstairs for this. Now, the way this kind of then throws a bit of a spanner in the works is we've got a downstairs bathroom right now. However, this is meant to be a one bed, one bathroom, but you want your guests still to have a bathroom that they can use. So I'm just gonna go for it and see if it passes the vibe check with EA. Okay, so I did like an L shaped one like this. The other thing they did not like was the like glass, this bit here. There is a glass with another park that doesn't have these annoying big like blobules, but unfortunately this one does. See, I feel like this is just too much wood personally, but I'll see how it looks. I feel like it's sort of losing a bit of like the modernness. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, then I just painted the bricks a little bit more of like a muted purpley kind of color. Okay, shoes now live here. I'm glad I built that little half wall in the kitchen. You now live here for a second. You can go here. Mirror it before you check yourself before you leave. You can hang by the door. And that will be our new solution. And again, I'm waiting for the artwork to come through before I decorate a lot of this because I'd rather use new artwork. I think that's more fun. I can't put a plant there. Why do I have to place a plant in the middle of the floor? Who does that? No one does that. That's really weird. Okay, the plant's gonna live there. The whole just... <sighs> No, I just hate this area now, but it's fine, whatever. The main thing that's stressing me out on this house is I've not done any of the outside yet. And this house is meant to include a chicken coop. So I'm just gonna fight through and focus on that instead. So I need to plan my outdoor bit a little bit more. I feel like chickens kind of stink. So I'm gonna put them quite far away. I say this with love and peace. I love chickens, um, but they do smell. And is the chicken co-op in the game? It is. Okay, so this, oh, you're cute. Okay, you are, you're very, very adorable. Very adorable. I'm gonna pick the most boring colors because that's just who I am. And now how, oh wow. 
the animal pens look great. How realistic do I need to be with my chickens? Because, you know, you can put these little cute fences like this up until the cows come home, but the chickens won't be going home because the fox will have eaten them all. So what I really need is, th they need a full enclosure. They need an enclosure. This is cute and all, but the fox is literally in is in that bush over there rubbing his hands together. He can't wait until these fools move in and he's gonna eat them all. So like, how realistic do I need to be? Okay, so there's this like very unchicken safe pen. But in my other build, the Sims team were like, oh, even though the chimney makes no sense, aesthetically it looks better and I can get behind good aesthetics. So I am gonna choose aesthetics over will die from foxes and chickens dig up all the ground they destroy everything so we're gonna be doing some painting in here honestly it's just it's probably not gonna look that great after the chickens have had their way however again for aesthetics i am gonna make the chicken coop still look a little bit cute and pretty <laughs> the chick that did eat that they'd be They'd laugh at that. They'd laugh at that and they'd eat it. Pretty sure they are the animal most closely related to dinosaurs. So that tells you everything you need to know about chickens. So we've got our chicken cobble. But I want to do something with the rest of this property. And I like, rather than using the place tiles, I like painting. So what can we do? Like this is a nice outdoor space. I kind of want to make the most of it. We're like out here in the countryside living our best life. So I'd love to do another animal pen, but I'm like, you know, committing to chickens is one thing. A cow is another beast entirely. However, a rabbit home. See this kind of cute stuff. Yeah, I can kind of see that. A few little grow boxes and what? <gasps> oh, the new crop patches. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're laughing. We're laughing. We're laughing. All right, so I've placed a few currently haphazard trees. You want a little path here. You want like where your table is. You definitely want like cobblesy vibes here. This right here is the vibe I'm trying to get across. That's me when I look at that picture. It's just British country garden, like so much. So that's kind of what I want to try and make sure I get across. And then I want like a little path to here, which is where you'll get to your little chickens. And then I want like a little bit that's tiled here where all my gardening equipment's gonna go. And the rest of it is gonna be more like desire paths, is it? Where it's like dirt. If you're up and down between these, like kneeling, planting like your little crops and stuff. I don't know if they'll let us like start some crops off in these cause that would be so much better if they would. But all of this is gonna like look like this cause you're gonna be like kneeling on it all and stuff. But from the house, I don't think you wanna be seeing any of this situation really. So what I wanna do is create like a little focal point. I'll walk over here for fun vibes. So we've got this. This also like leads up to here, this kind of like, is it in it? Is it not? Who who really knows? Maybe a one time it did, but not anymore. How much plants are they gonna let me put? Cause I don't want to see where I'm planting my crops from my garden. Like when the crops are all there, it's like, wow, so pretty, so great. But most of the time it's just kind of gonna be a bit ugly. So I sort of want to hide it a little bit and keep that like English garden energy. I'm gonna stop here because honestly, I don't know how much more stuff I can still place and whether I'm getting like so far now over what the maximum number of objects I'm allowed to place on one lot is. This is like basically the issue I always seem to run into with this, trying to build and keep it console friendly. I'm definitely struggling a lot with this. And there's no point me spending a bunch of time placing plants that I'm just gonna have to pull them all up. So this is where I leave things for now. <gasps> oh, the bathroom upstairs. Let me just throw that together real quick. Totally forgot about her. Ooh, and there's a new bathtub. Oh, hello. I like a trendy bath. I'm down to go for a nice bath. We've got a shower downstairs, so I don't see why we can't have a bathroom upstairs. Why would you have a shower downstairs? They're gonna ask me these questions. I'm a field them. I actually think they're right. There's no point having a shower downstairs. I'm gonna present it as an option of which would you prefer, guys? I wanted to hear from the Sims team. I'm not my dindins is ready and I'm absolutely starving and I've been at this for a long time already. Okay, and we are done. Let's see what they say and I will see you guys after review number two. So guys, three rounds of feedback are done. Here is the way the world looks now. I actually talked through this a lot and, and went through all these descriptions and had a little chit chat about the changes that have happened to this world map in my other video, which was my little lavender cottage build, which I'm so glad looking back now it didn't get made into a starter home because I'd have had to budget that at 
20,000 pounds. And I went way over 20,000, so I'm very grateful for that. But of course, we will be checking out our final um, barn conversion, which sits within this Finchwick, I think, area. It's kind of hard to tell because I don't think these are in their final places yet. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys how I changed my barn conversion because oh my gosh i have regretted this build at many times <laughs> during this process so many times i was like why did i go for a barn conversion i was literally kicking myself i was like why have i done this to myself this was just so much harder than it needed to be because i stuck with this vision of a barn conversion and i'm like did i need to do that but one thing let me get up the chart so i can make sure i'm, I'm quoting myself right here the sims team liked the idea of this barn conversion so much and the idea that this might have been like a working barn at some point that then got converted into the house. The NPCs I can't actually believe I'm saying this. I made this into game law. I've made it to game law. NPC villagers will sometimes say, a few years back someone renovated a historic barn in the old New Henford area. Okay this is old New Henford guys. I love seeing history preserved in special ways like that. A reminder that we don't have to leave our past behind to move forward. Yes guys, the the fact that I decided to torture myself with the most painful build idea ever is be made into Sims Law, which makes it totally worthwhile. So here is my little barn conversion. The reason I think I found this so painful, it's difficult to like envision what is basically a big square without interesting shapes for a house. Building in a square, like it sounds easy, but I actually found it harder because the shape of the house doesn't lend itself as much to creativity. I don't know. I basically found this really tough. But here is my finished version of the barn. So one thing I will say is just like the cottage where I wanted to throw wisteria absolutely everywhere. I can't place it. You guys see that that's all redded out. This version of the build unfortunately broke wall objects. This isn't the final build. There's still a bunch of stuff that they need to change and add to the game yet, which means I couldn't add all my wisteria, which I was really hoping to do, particularly on the front of the house here, because I feel like it's very like abrupt front and I think having wisteria growing all up like maybe just one side I think what I would have done if I'd have been able to I'm gonna do the move objects cheat oh, okay yeah so I can show you guys what I would have done. Let me just do that real quick. I don't know. I wanted to do something like this where it just like balances out that tree. And I also just really like wisteria as you can probably tell because this this is all wisteria. So I really like wisteria. So yeah, I wanted to do something like that. I can't. But what I will do is like send a screenshot of my idea for what I would like to do to the dev. So maybe the ladder. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe. So I showed you guys what I wanted to do with this, which was like that English garden kind of look where it's an old, well-established garden with bedding everywhere and like these really soft, curvy patterns. There's no harsh lines. It's soft, old, like established how many times i'm gonna say established but you guys get what i'm coming from i also added this little toadstool which is a seat which i thought was really cute a picnic basket here as well there was this little chicken fountain which i really wanted to add but i've got move objects on now so it's let me do what i want but if i switch it back off again i just couldn't get it to place which was a shame because i thought that with the chicken would have been really cute i also added this little table here which is gonna be like a forage table i think which was so cute i swapped these down to two basically so because i wanted more room for the bedding and it wasn't really meant to be a big farmy plot it's like somebody might, might want to do a bit of crop planting but it's more about the established garden and then inside so i changed up these bedroom this bedroom colors like a bunch of times i don't know who that is or how that got there i'm gonna make this floor in here match this but yeah i kept these beams on top i kind of make it look like the clothes are attached to the beams and these beams like run across all of the top of the house i I took them out initially because I thought that visually they might annoy people, but the devs really liked them, so I put them back in again. And I also added a bathroom upstairs here too, like a bit of a blue bathroom vibe. There is still a bathroom downstairs as well. And I also made this like little sort of like area here where you can sit and look over to the rest of the house. Shout out to Stacy, uh, my friend who I was talking to that said that one of their friends had a burn conversion as a kid and it had like this little lookout spot. And I thought that was really cool, so I thought I would add it to my burn conversion as well. The other thing I'm actually gonna 
going to do while I'm here is change the doors to this lighter wood because the other thing I did is I lightened up the colors downstairs considerably, mainly because everything was starting to blend into one. And I actually think having the dark wood versus the light floors was a nice effect. I also added these beams here just to kind of one, I feel like it looks really nice visually, but two, it kind of makes sense that you would have support beams for this top floor. I'm actually going to see if it lets me get away with that. It has deleted one of the lights, but I kind of like it going all the way across like that. Can't intersect the spandrels. I lose a light, but I think that's okay. I may make up for it by adding like a lamp or something in here. So the other thing I can't do is I wanted to replace the blinds, but I can't place window placements at the moment. So I will just flag that. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that little lamp there. I don't know if they're going to go for it. It is a bit of an odd decision, but um, otherwise I just feel like it's kind of dark now. But I like the spandrel going across. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. And I like that it supports that whole top floor there. Makes sense, right? So yeah, I changed this living room a lot. I tried every rug in the game to try and find a rug that I liked here. I still don't love this one, but it is what it is. It's uh, as close as I think I'm going to get to enjoying it. I really like the green curtains. I basically went for such a change in color palette here, but I like the end result of what we went for. I just liked the green. I thought you kind of brought in like this lighter color in the wallpaper into the curtains, which I thought was kind of cool. This I kept as like a little uh, workroom in here. And this bathroom, the door, I'm just going to change the color of. I took the shower out at one point, but I was like, I think because we've only got a bath upstairs, I would like the option of a shower every now and again. So I added the shower back in and the team were fine with it. So that's great as well. So a bit more of a modern bathroom down here. And one thing I did try with this build is having like all the walls that weren't the outside walls as a different wall type. So that meant all of these walls were like tiled, but not this one. And it meant that all of these walls were brick, but not these two because they're the outside walls. But honestly, it kind of looked messy. It makes sense that only the walls around the edges would have the original brick. Like you wouldn't use that big thick outer brick in the whole house, but... It just looked really weird. So I ended up changing it back again. I had to switch out this bookcase because the one that I was using was a reward object. I don't love the color of it still, but it's a bit too, it fades in a little bit too much if I use that one. And some of the other ones are just too expensive. This one, I just think is too small. The whole point is it's kind of like hiding the understairs area a little bit. So it needs to be a big bookcase. So I'm going to stick with this one just because then you can't tell that there's like that awkward gap underneath the stairs there. I did get rid of my wacky rugs. I liked them. I thought they were cool but the Sims team didn't love them. So I changed up my wacky rugs, but I did like add this bit here, which made us have like a little shoe area. As you came in with a little hanging rack here, which I thought was kind of cool and also means I can add like an extra counter space here. Oh, this gets rid of it. Can I add an ending one? Oh, I can't. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's because it was an ending one. There we go. Finding all these little chops and changes right at the end. And yeah, here is my barn conversion. That is actually now part of Sims Law. I still love Love that so much. Like, it makes me so happy to know that that has been, like, added into the game. It does make me feel emotional. I've played this game since Sims 1. Since I was a little kid playing upstairs with, like, my cousin, taking it in turns to, like, hold the mouse. And that's what we do every weekend. And now the stuff that I've created is actually in the game, which I just can't believe is a actually happened. And the stories that I build in my head around my sims, like let's do a barn conversion. Let's let somebody move out from the city and have a hand at turning this like crookedy old barn into a livable house. I always like to just make a story on the sims. And now the story that I made will actually be talked about by NPCs in the game. So I'm just really happy, kind of overwhelmed. Also, not gonna lie, quite grateful to get this particular build done because I did find it quite tough. If you do decide to move your sim here, if you get this pack, please let me know because that would be so amazing. I'd love to see pictures of your sims in my home. I'm actually like getting emotional <laughs> thinking about that. So yeah, my barn conversion is done. In honor of the Wisteria growing up, I'm gonna call it Wisteria Barn. <laughs> I don't know if we'll keep it. We've got Lavender Cottage and Wisteria Barn. And there we go. All done. Ready to turn in. And for me to see for the last time. Goodbye, Barn. If you guys haven't checked out Lavender Cottage already, please go ahead and check out that video as well. I did two builds for this Sims pack. It's been so much fun to work on it. A big thank you to EA for giving me this opportunity. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. We'll also be starting a brand new series in this pack. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Make sure you check out those videos and I'll see you then. Bye.